Hey everyone, God bless you. This is Pastor Chris. And this is Pastor Natalie. It's so good to have each of you with us once again. That's right. Today we're going to be talking about this one word, rest. Rest. <laughs> rest, rest, Honey, rest. sometimes I just want to rest. <laughs> right? Yes, yes, all of us, yeah. all of us, right? Sometimes she tends to want to just... I just find myself want to rest. rest and I'm like, okay, honey. <laughs> but just, this is not, not just about sleeping. Correct. This is about a promise that God wants to give each of us and Correct. for us to hold on to because he says, I want to give you rest. I want to be your rest. I want to, I want to be that part of you that yeah. nothing can move you. That is correct. Right? Because, you know, one of the things that, you know, as we've been praying, and in fact, I'm going to pray right after I say this, we've noticed that there's a lot of people going through a lot. Oh, yeah. And in the midst of whatever you're facing, we want God to be your focus, that you will obtain and you will receive and you will walk in a rest that you cannot comprehend. Mm -hmm. It will blow your mind, basically. It, it's, it's a rest that we can't even explain, yes. but you will experience amen, it. Amen. And I challenge you yep. to continue listening and, 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 and just to really hear us out in Jesus' name about this. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Yep, I knew, I know. <laughs> Father, we thank you so very much, Lord. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you, Lord, will encourage every listener and every Thank viewer, you, Lord. Lord God. Thank you. That Thank they Jesus. will obtain rest no matter what they yes. are facing in the mighty name yes. of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. And for your glory only, Lord. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 This rest that God is talking about is rest for our souls. Yes. And you know, as we were developing this this message and waiting on God about it, that's what we kept hearing in our hearts is that God is saying, I want to give my people rest for their souls. Correct. I, I see their turmoil. I see their pain. I see how they've been in a, a mm -hmm. warfare. And I want to give them rest. Yes. And I want to be their assurance. Mm -hmm. I want to be their anchor of hope. And the Bible tells us in Matthew eleven twenty nine, take my yoke upon you, because this is how it's done. This is how it's done. So please listen. Take my yoke upon you and let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. That's a That's right. promise. Love That's it. That's a Love promise it. from the Lord. There has been times that Pastor Chris and I have been in true warfare and battles. I mean, it was the battle zone. It was the heat was on, you know, type of situations. And there's something about just this assurance of knowing Daddy's with us. That's right. For an example, we, you know, we just had our prayer meeting just last night mm -hmm. at, at, at Resplendency where we just called upon the name of the Lord. And yes, we had a, a list of prayer requests and we asked for people in the audience if they had any specific. And, you know, some people told us some prayer requests. And it was an awesome thing to pray because these are very much um, complex situations and, and different situations that people are all facing but God is saying he doesn't want you to be in despair. He wants to give you the rest. What I'm, what I'm relating yes. to is that there is a scripture yes. in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8 that says, We're pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. Mm. We are perplexed, but we're not driven to despair. That again is God's promise. See, that's that's the point of why we're bringing these these Correct. scripture verses out. Correct. That you understand that with God on your side, no matter what you're going through, He wants to be that assurance, that place of don't run to despair. Run to me. And when you are in despair, remember what Pastor Nally first, you know, she said, she said how can you get this rest, this, this, this sense of true peace and assurance? She read in Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. So if you're in a place of what I just said about being pressed by every side, because it's just funny, this this morning I was looking up on social media and something, and I saw this one gentleman, it's, everything he said was like, I'm going to so much situations, and he put a different post and a different post and a different post, and there are various individuals that are trying to encourage them. And I'm saying, wow, 
So the, I love how you said it. You said, take my yoke upon mm -hmm. me. Let me teach you because mm -hmm. I am humble and gentle in heart and you will find rest for yes. your souls. And that's the thing too, is that he's saying, let me teach you. Mm -hmm. See, yes. let me teach you yes. how to find rest. Correct. See, that's the thing about like when you're walking through things, it's like how we hear mm -hmm. different people, but I'm, go but I'm going through this. Now, yet again, I'm going through this. This is the thing. In life, unfortunately, that's why you just read the scripture in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8. We will have trouble and we will be hard pressed on every side. It will feel like we're surrounded by trouble on every side. And yet he's telling us, let me teach you. Let me teach you another way. Let me teach you how to walk through this with me on your side so that you don't have to walk through this alone and feel like I abandoned you because the thing is he doesn't leave us alone he's right. with us as we're walking through these situations and he wants to teach us how to trust him even more through these things absolutely you know the Bible tells us in uh, Psalms uh, 3 verses 5 and 6 it says I lay down and sleep and yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. I'm not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. How can we as believers speak these things out unless we know that God is for us? Correct. Unless we know that God is on our side. Unless we know that with him we have a hope. Correct. We have a future. This is not our end. That's right. That even if we're surrounded like this and we're hard pressed like this, that God will bring us through this. That is correct. God will bring us through these things. And he's saying, let me give you rest. There's so many things. Deep in your innermost being. Correct. Praying. Taking that time out to be with God. Grabbing Very a hold important. of the Holy Bible and reading it. There's enough apps out there. The Respondency app. It has all the different versions of the Bible on it. You yes. Can absolutely. Just wherever you are. You can have it on audio. Mm -hmm. Just hit it in your car. Drive mm -hmm. and listen to it. Wherever in your ear pods or earphones, whatever. It is. Just listen to his word and say, God, I need you more. Yes. I need you more. Because I want your me. voice to be louder. Because I want what you say in your word to be the for, loudest thing For some thing reason, I I'm, I'm thinking about Peter when mm. Jesus called him to come to the boat. And he they were in the midst of a storm. Yep. Almost to be to, to die, yeah. and some of you may feel like you're 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 surrounded by the greatest storm. But if you keep your eyes on Jesus, Peter did not look down; he was looking straight at Jesus. And the more that we look to Him, that that peace came, and, and he actually walked on water. But the minute we took our he, he took his eyes off of Jesus. So I encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, keep do your not eyes. take yeah. your eyes off of Jesus yeah. through all these situations. Yeah. It will keep you. Not perplexed, not in despair, but it will keep you like in Psalm 3, verse 5, what you just said. In peace I can and in sleep, safety. And I can sleep and yes. I can know and I can have this assurance that when I wake up, even if I'm still facing these things, God is with me. Absolutely. God is surrounding Absolutely. me. Absolutely. There's more for me than those that are against me because God is with me and I have a host of angels on my side. It says here in Joshua 21, 44. I love this verse. And the Lord gave them rest on every side. You see how we could be hard pressed on every side. The other side of it is that God is saying, I want to give you rest on every side. Yes. I want to give you such a rest on every side. It says here, just as he had solemnly promised their ancestors, none of their enemies could That's stand right. against them. For the Lord helped them yeah. conquer all their enemies. God and is so good. How do you learn how to conquer what you're facing? Look to the Lord. Run to the Lord. Find rest in looking to Him first. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray that you will encounter God's rest in all that you are facing. Yes. He is a faithful God. Amen. He is a faithful Amen. God. Amen. He is a faithful Amen. God. He is a faithful Even God. Even if it looks different yes, that is than correct. what you expected. That is correct. Even in go if going forward means you, you face more enemies. Because, you know, sometimes we, we go higher and there could be more things to face. 
But as you're facing these things, God is with you. Yes. God is with you. He's not going to leave you alone. That's right. And you know, when you begin to obey God's word and, and really begin to follow him and follow his ways, one of the things that, you know, there was a king, King Jehoshaphat. It's in Second Chronicles 20, verse 30. It says, so Jehoshaphat's kingdom was at peace for his God had given him rest on every side. Mm -hmm. Here it is once again, every e side. Every side. Yeah. Yes, he's a king. And of course, you know, being in a, as a leader, you face m m numerous situations, Absolutely. let's just say that. Yeah. But yet there was peace in the midst of it. And that's what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to, you know, talk to us about it and, and you know, probably comment and everything. Absolutely. There's so much more that we can go into yeah. this about the scriptural and the biblical principles. Because when people are going through a lot and you're just waiting for it, you just can't wait. When, when is this going to end? Why am I always in despair? Why am I this? Why am I that? But I'm telling you, it sounds crazy. Just as when Peter was in a storm with all the disciples and Jesus came walking, that is a crazy situation, but yeah. it, it was real life. And he came, stepped out of the boat and started walking. As long as you keep your eyes on Jesus, and, there's a peace and assurance. And he heard Jesus say, come. Correct. Right? So he took time to hear the voice of the Lord. Which is excellent. Which is why, why we, 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 you know, we, we encourage you. Read God's word. Yep. It is awesome. Yep, yep. Pray. Just spend time with him. Say, God, speak to me. Yes. Find some Bible-believing people. Don't just hang out with people that would just yes you to death. People that will challenge you to go up higher to a stronger spiritual place. And don't get comfortable because that's dangerous. Don't just sit back and say, oh, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to do this. Don't get comfortable. Be challenged and say, God, I am... Just like how Peter stepped out of the boat and I'm going to step out. I'm going to begin to do. I'm going to go back to you, Lord. Yep. I'm going to seek the Lord and go back to Jesus. Yep. Just as Pastor Nally ended, and we're going to read it again. Yes. Matthew 11, 29. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you yes. because I am humble and gentle at heart. Yes. And you will find rest, rest in your souls. Have you been humbling yourselves before the Lord? Have you taken his yoke upon him? Have you just said... Upon you. Upon, exactly. I, 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 when you think about it, um, when they put a certain engine in a certain car, you, that car is known as that specific brand. And they take it upon them, and it's like that. So what have you, have you received Christ and said, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I want you to make you the Lord of my life. Lord, I, maybe I said it 10 years ago, and I need to refresh, and I need to recommit myself and say, God, I have been kind of wishy-washy. I've been a little so-so lately. But Lord, I want to be all in. I want to I wanna go, because I know at the times in the past when I was all in, I got the benefits. Amen. Amen. It's like when you want to recharge your cell phone and you plug it in, it gets re-energized. Mm -hmm. You want to now come back to Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and say, Lord, I will take, your, take, I take, as you said, take my yoke upon me. I will take your yoke upon me. I will learn from you. I will, I will hear your word. I will come because I know you're humble and you're gentle in heart. And I will find rest in my soul. Ladies and gentlemen, there's so much more that we can go on, but we want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ yes. for you. Amen. Would you help me, sweetheart, and mm -hmm. pray for our listeners and our viewers in Jesus' yes. name? Yes. Lord, I thank you for every person, God, that is yes. tuned in, God, whether they're watching or they're just listening, Lord. Yes. God, it's no mistake that they've tuned in today, Lord. And God, we want to thank, thank you, you Lord, that God today they will find rest for their soul. They will yes. they will return to the Lord. They will hand it over to you, Lord. All the things, all the cares, all the burdens, all the weights, all the things that have been fearful, God, all the things, oh God, that have troubled them, Lord. They will cast all their cares upon you, Lord. And God, I thank you that as they receive you, Lord, they would receive mm. your yoke and they would see, God, that you are a man that can be trusted, that you are a God that can be trusted, Lord. And so, God, I thank you, and that, God, they would say, though you slay me, though it's difficult, I'm going to trust you, Lord. Yes. Though, it, though it's hard to go forward, I'm going to trust you, Lord. And that, God, as they surrender all to you, Lord, 
They all mm. God will not pick it back up. They will not choose to pick it back up. Right. But God, they will let you be God. They would allow you to do what only you can do on their behalf. Jesus. And they will learn from your ways, Lord, from the teachings that's in the, in the word of God. Yes. And God, they will find that rest that you promised for each of us, for our soul. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, we are so grateful that you watch. But here at Respondency, we have prayer meetings and Bible studies. We would love for you to join Absolutely, us. Absolutely, yes. Love for you to just sit there and just break, just open up the Word of God and just, just hear God's Word. And time just to pray out and call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. You can be connected with us on our various social media, you know, yes. so just a variety of social media, That's please. Right. It's yep, just yep. there. And we so appreciate that there is a blog yes. that Pastor Natalie has yes. that I want you guys to know about. I want to thank those of you that read my blogs on let's take a moment.com and those that follow me at examine moments let me hear from you. I love hearing from all my readers and That's followers. That's right. And we also have another podcast mm -hmm. called Resplendency Life. That's right. It is awesome. Yes. It is so straightforward talk. And it is a blessing. I hope pray that you guys would tune into that also. And in the name of Jesus Christ, may God's rest be upon you yes. no matter what you Thank are you facing Lord. right now. We declare in the name of Jesus yes. Christ, his unmerited favor to every single Hallelujah. one of you. Yes. Unmerited favor, 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 favor of God that you do not deserve mm -hmm. in Jesus' precious yes. name. And a blessed assurance That's in the right. name of Jesus. In the name Thank of you, Jesus Lord. Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, for the glory of God. We want you to do this unto the Lord. Stand, Stand out and shine. shine for Jesus Christ. Amen. God, God bless, bless you. you. We love you.